Peace, peace, power, soul, elevated, activation and beyond for voids of creations. We are the United Futuritarians coming to you all live from Paradise, Las Vegas, Nevada. One second. Coming to you all live from Paradise, Las Vegas, Nevada. We are ones, welcome with ones, the activationist, activisionist, the United Futuritarians. So today's topic is Today's topic is the sky dawn, aka the firmament. I guess focusing on what exactly it is or breaking it up on a more elevated uh, point of view or perspective, our perspective of exactly what it is, why it's there, and breaking up the actual word itself. <clears throat> actually, I was sitting here before I started the live and I was thinking about it. Firmament. Firmament. We're always saying mint deals with the whole aspect of mental or the mind. So firmament, firm, firm mental or the firm mind. People who are uh, dense, dense, uh, dense headed or thick skulled or thick minded or yeah, how does it, yeah, yeah, dense as far as their minds being dense, not being able to receive future intelligence. Um, or like I said, yes, being able to receive what's coming through a so-called sky dome or firmament. So, other than that, uh, yes, we are ones, walking with ones, uh, the true 11 in this power state, calling ourselves activationists, activisionists, leaders walking with leaders. The true 11, when you turn 11 horizontally, it makes the equal symbol because we are all equal when we are embodying leadership, fellowship, and collectivity. So, yes, the sky dome. Everyone's talking about that. It's referenced in the Bible as far as Genesis, talking about how the sky, aka firmament, basically separated the uh, upper atmosphere from the so called lower planes or lower spaces, dealing with the so called earth, quote unquote. <laughs> so, looking forward to further, uh, let's say, breaking up more because you have people who are talking about it. They, they're giving their perspective on, on what it really is, but it's only based off of information that they found online. So what we're saying is we're giving a stab at it as far as just receiving in real time what exactly it is. So when it comes to the physical um, dome or sky dome, as I call this a lie, a sky dome, but it truly is, I wanna say it's layered or compressed frequencies and vibrations. So again, it's layered frequencies, layered and compressed frequencies in vibrations that basically uh, enclose this space or this plane called Earth or the third dimension. That being said, uh, we basically the perspective of how they illustrated what the Earth looks like, whether you're, you're a flat earther, because I used to be, well, I kind of still am, but I see that the whole totality of the Earth, our physical plane that we're walking on is flat, but the upper atmosphere is that doesn't have a shape it's not round it's not it's uh amorphous if that, if that makes sense amorphous it's shapeless but the thing is when you shoot rockets or try to basically leave the so-called uh the upper outer spaces you know basically you you get pushed back down because of the compressed frequencies the compressed frequencies and vibrations or the so-called magnetic uh field that the earth has so basically it's like a it's the compressed levels of magnetic energy the compressed levels of magnetic energy that further surrounds the so-called space called earth which is uh the reason why these physical rocket ships cannot just go straight up you know they, they try to break the so-called firmament people call it the, the glass ceiling or it's made of glass it's made of this substance but truthfully truthfully it's made of frequencies and vibrations that are compacted that are layered in such a such a, a powerful sequence a powerful array that the objects that are made within the so-called uh this space and place called earth cannot penetrate through it because of the purpose for the sky dome to be here or firmament to be here it's to keep keep us in the only way to be able to leave the space and place like me and the brother AF1 talked about is through portals, portaling. So people think that, oh, we can leave the physical space and place called Earth through rocket ships, saucers, and all of these things. But no, we have to portal. 
going through portals, aka energy uh, thresholds that are, or pockets within the space and place that divert us into a different realm or different space. So yes, we are activationist, activationist for one spoken with ones, but united futuritarians. So today's topic is the sky dome, aka firmament. So I've said before, firm a mint, firmament, firm, firma mint. Mint deals with the aspect of the mind, like government, firmament. So a firm mind, strong minded people or dense uh, dense headed people or dense mind people that are not able to receive what reality really is or receive the future intelligence. So I don't think anybody has broken that up as far as what the word firmament means as far as firmament or firm mind or firm mental. So yes, we are the Futuritarians, activations, activations because we're bringing forth new and next intelligence, not information, but new and next intel to do what? Wake up the so-called dense minded people. The firm minded people or firm mental people whose minds are black. Not physically their skin is black, but their minds are black. It doesn't matter if we're so called African American or not, or like I said, it, it's anyone in the space and place who's mentally dead, mentally dead, or doesn't have that uh, spark, that charge of being mentally and soulfully activated, being uh, raised mentally and soulfully to be able to see what the world really is or see what what everything really is as far as people who are of that worldly mind frame like I said they have a dense a firm mental a firmament basically uh, <laughs> people are like what are you talking about that's not what it is but when you break up the so-called word what what exactly it meant government advertisement alignment aligning of the mentals or the minds so mint, 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 mint. Minting, thing, mint, minting things are making solidified. If you want to go that route too. But we're saying that dealing with the so-called physical uh, place that we live in. Yes, rocket ships, saucers, you're not going to be able to penetrate through. Even the so-called saucers that, that uh, people are seeing, those are man-made air, man aircraft. They were talking about seeing UFOs in the 1940s or they were you know, being built by so-called the Germans and Hitler, all of that other stuff, you know, like I said. So UFOs aren't new and the aspect of trying to leave this space and place called Earth isn't new. They've been trying for a long, long time, but they have not been able to, they have not been able to succeed because of the limitational factor as far as their minds, as far as the physical and whether they have spirits or souls, but not being able to have enough power to to break through or at least open up a portal or a gateway if it's plain and walk through and go to the other side or go to the upper and outer dimensions. So we're not yeah, we're not saying that as future beings we're gonna be using spaceships and spacecraft because those are all old as hell. They've been they've been finding space like crashed uh UFOs or, or uh UAPs uh, for quite some time so and now they're, they're pushing the so-called and it's crazy now if they're they they've stopped talking about ufos all of us remember they had this little uh little streak going on or like this this continuous pushing of so-called ufos the government's talking about now yeah we actually agree that they're real but they've been trying to cover it up for so long like they, they try to cover it up back in the past so that leaves you to think like why all of a sudden they're, they're pushing so-called UFOs and, and space and intelligence and like I said they're talking about space and things that uh, the average person probably will, will flock to because it caters to their uh, belief system or what they believe yeah, what they believe is actually real but it's not real grays aliens not one time have, have we ever in our physical lives whether you're 60 70 80, 90 years and even up to my age younger no one has actually physically seen aliens or so-called grays. And don't say, well, out here in Las Vegas. Yes, I live in Las Vegas. But the aspect of we didn't see anything. I didn't see no nothing fall out the sky. But I do have videos of, of unexplained uh, objects or unexplained uh, matter beings in the sky. 
go on the channel on our YouTube channel called United Vegetarians, where we actually have a, a video from two, three years ago where, yes, I actually was, I came outside and I saw this particular uh, black object or it was, it was just moving in an unorthodox way, not like a spaceship, I mean, not like a, a plane, helicopter or anything that I saw, a bird, no, birds, birds don't fly that high, hawks don't fly that high, that was well over 10,000, 20,000 feet, but it was still visible to my naked eye, so that being said, it was just more so like, wow, just, just knowing that there are things that are able to, there are intelligent beings or intelligence that can manipulate the so-called so sky dome, and, and they're able to basically uh, come in and out, because that being said, because we aren't able to do it, doesn't mean that other so-called beings or intelligence can't. <clears throat> so yes, the sky dome, aka firmament. Yes, why is it uh, talked about so much, or why is it being getting popular and popular? Because uh, dealing with the so-called a uh, race for space, or trying to uh, proclaim dominance in the skies, you have nations like. Uh, like America, obviously here in America, China, they're all fighting to have so-called domain in the skies because they understand that once we figure it out as far as how to leave the space in place, then they don't have control over us. They won't be able to have control over the so-called chosen ones or those people who are of the elevated mind and souls. So yes, we're focusing on raising our frequencies mentally and soulfully and physically as a collective council uh, we're only pushing peak pushing power pushing forth future intelligence to raise the minds and souls of our people of our children 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 and so forth so yes shout out to all the ones that we reached out to that we're actively building with brother af1 brother uh, raku Omega uni and all others that are you know working with us like i said you know Certain people, like I said, it's just going to register to, and others it's not gonna not, not going to because they don't have the mental the mental the meant to fortitude to be able to go above and beyond what's already here. So I'm gonna cut this light on real quick so you can see me a lot better. So yes, the sky dome, the sky dome. Why is it popular? Why? Because people. Uh, like I said, you know, curiosity. People want to know why don't these rocket ships go to outer space? They tell because our, our our upper atmosphere is is closed off, dealing with like I said, the compact layered frequencies and vibrations that are uh, like I said, they're stacked on top of each other to be able to like they act as a a, a frequency and vibrational barrier. People think it's physical, but because it's so dense and compact. That yes, it feels like it's like a solid object, but truthfully, it's it's not. It's compact, compressed geomagnetic frequencies that basically prevent us uh, from, you know, leaving the space in place, or like a certain things from coming in and coming into the space. So asteroids, but but you do have uh, asteroids that do you know su supposedly fall from the sky. I, but I'm not sure if they're actually coming through the firmament. They're probably just, like I said, it, how they, they depicted space and everything else, it, it really did a number on people because if you're believing in the uh, heliocentric idea dealing with the sun being the center of the universe, then you believe that the earth is round and that the earth is spinning and, and all of these things because they, they flipped the whole uh, Gleason's New Standard Map because the Gleason's New Standard Map Look it up if you want to, but but Gleason's new standard map or all flat map or all flat earth maps depict our our plane being flat and the upper the upper sky is basically being uh what appears to be rounded, but truthfully the roundedness represents being amorphous. Like spears have no shape. I mean they, they they have no uh what is it, they don't have any corners or edges or vertices basically. So that being said, everything dealing with like the roundedness or the spherical form of the earth is basically to uh, compensate for the lack of not knowing truthfully what the shape of the earth truly is. So the fact that it, it is flat because the buildings that we are living in are, they're, they're vertical, straight up and down. 
I mean, there is no curve because you can't prove that there is curve. So going back to what I had to, uh, I came to learn as a flat earther, shout out to brother Daryl Marble, uh, reaching out to him as far as he, Carbon Brother, Carbon Brother, check him out on YouTube. His name is Daryl Marble, but he definitely was like the person that got me into looking more into the, the whole flat earth uh, ideology or the reality as far as just the physical plane that we walk on it, it is flat because cars don't don't curve underneath the earth but they drive flat on a surface buildings are built on a flat surface level surface so that being said when it comes to our upper outer atmosphere it, there is no shape because it's amorphous it's free space and then you get to a certain point where you can't go go any higher because of the what the so-called sky dome aka firmament so peace power sold to us as the council we are one spoken ones bringing forth more reality not illusions not uh information that you can find online because I'm, I'm not saying that uh yeah i'm not saying that uh the information that they're telling you is basically uh like I said, there, there's certain truths and certain lies that they have to put in front of you all so that you guys can't go beyond them or so that you guys don't question them as far as what they told you, especially when it comes to uh, NASA, them faking the so-called uh, moon lanes because the sun, so going going uh, back to the sun and moon, the sun and moon, the sun is the future, the earth is the present, and the moon is the past. Shout out Brother AF1 on his channel, Activation, it's on YouTube, but he broke that up. I posted a video about that. Uh, I shared his video on our channel uh, yesterday, you know, last night, but he broke it up very, very precisely and very accurate, saying that the the uh, Earth is the present, we're presently here on Earth, and the Moon is the past, and the future is the Sun. So, that being said, uh, our Sun and Moon are local, meaning that they are inside of the dome, or aka the sky dome or firmament. So, people who believe in the heliocentric idea that the sun is the center of the universe uh, is, is basically uh, is, it, that's basically a lie based on what we can see the sun moves from east to west the moon moves from east to west in a, a cycle or in a circular motion or pattern because of you know moon cycles but sun cycles aka okay, the sun cycling around what the flat earth where we're at currently you you never felt the the earth move then it's spinning you only felt the earth moving when it's happening uh during a, during an earthquake and we had one or two out here in the past but I, I actually felt the earth shaking like like wow what is that so 2015 we, we we had a major not a major but it was minor enough to make it was strong enough to basically break break a bridge out here in vegas but what happened in california and we felt the aftershocks out here in vegas certain areas felt it so dealing with the whole aspect of like, yes, the earth not spinning, but the sun and the moon are spinning or rotating around us like, like a clock, like, like clockwork, which is why truthfully there is no day and night. It's only perspective when you see the moon and sun, but everything is singular. It's one whole giant experience, which is why they so-called astronomers know about this. But when it comes to astrology, you have people who push astrology dealing with the so-called focusing on the astros or like I said the the upper and outer atmosphere which people uh, you know falsely have been led to believe that space is what space like I said space is basically uh, expansive and this and that but when it comes to looking at other planets and everything else that's all local that's all within the so-called firmament because the upper sky spin too Everything in the sky, everything above in the sky is spinning around us down below. <clears throat> that being said, why do you think when you think you're seeing a star or a planet, but it, it never, like think about it. if we were spinning, then the so-called, uh, basically sun, the, the, the sun and moon would basically just, just sit there. Or the stars would all just sit there, but the stars are, are constantly moving, constantly spinning, or... It, it, the planets are constantly spinning around us and the proof is like you can have time lapse time time lapse cameras sitting in one area and the sky is spinning that that's more proof that our our physical plane that we're walking on is a plane is flat 
planes don't planes don't curve <laughs> i mean they might go up and down as far as elevation but there is no true curvature of the earth and you can go online yeah they say that the earth's curvature is uh eight inches per per square mile i mean yes eight inches per square mile so that being said for every eight inches then you would have a curve so think about that where you're at and where i'm at right now there should be this big old like a big a bunch of curve curvature going on but you cannot find it you can't measure that so that leads to tell you how are they able to give that number or even put that as far as facts if they can't measure that how can you measure the curvature of, of something that you're physically on doesn't make any sense you have to have a outer perspective of what you're on and you flying on planes planes don't planes don't follow the curve planes fly straight they go up in the air and then they fly straight rocket ships they don't fly straight up they they, they go all the way up and then they curve we tell you that they're going to outer space but they're not what's the so-called uh the space center that they have out in the upper uh elevations of the atmosphere that's all fake that's all meant to basically keep you all looped dealing with nasa dealing with spacex all the other agencies that they have to do what to bring forth this illusion of so-called space <laughs> that being said you know they, they also have these so-called uh, telescopes or these drones that they have that they've been able to send up into the upper and outer atmosphere which they have been um, those particular uh, drones or rovers basically are caught in the or they managed to shoot them outside of the earth's magnetic sphere or the magnetic uh, gravitational uh, excuse me the, the, the magnetic force field that surrounds earth that being said uh, people say oh that magnetic force field is gravity is gravity no gravity isn't a real thing the term gravity is not real so all these things they, they push forth to do what to undermine your intelligence to basically have you believe in what they're saying word for word <coughs> so yes the sky dome the sky dome basically is quote unquote the firmament the firmament basically and we say it to like I said to really look into it really actually think about why they are not able to go to outer space they use CGI and camera tricks to basically paint the illusion that they're actually uh, going somewhere where they're not they film some of the best movies with CGI so you think that, the, that NASA and them cannot do the same thing or they have the lower you know lower budget type of film that they show as far as on live streams but no they can't leave this place which is why they're they're trying to basically uh, do all the things as far as keeping us people people like you all or ones like us who used to be looped but keeping you all looped but we're saying that it's it's deeper than that or it's more elevated than what they're like i said trying to paint to you all or push to you all so the sky dome aka the firmament the firmament the firmament the firm the firm minds or the firm mental so everything dealing with mint you must look at it as mental the mind mint or you can look at it as minting something or making it solid even still firm solid that still means dense dense minded or dense dense headed people <coughs> which goes back to the aspect a lot of people are, are hard headed <laughs> because dealing with people's uh Especially here in this time right now, you know, they don't want to answer to the call. I mean, they don't want to actually live up to their purposes. Most of them are, like I said, still caught up in trying to live in illusion or try to live vicariously through through false, uh, like I said, false, false realities or, like I said, false pretense. Trying to be this and trying to be that, but they're not. Like, we, we're here for a reason that's more elevated than a lot of you all could, could imagine or fathom. Some of us uh, came here, like I said, we were projected here because projections, light is the only thing, excuse me, light or radiance is the only thing that can pierce through the firmament. Uh, like I said, without being rejected or being blocked. Light, aka radiance, radiance is the only thing that can go through the firmament or the sky dome with no issues. So for us to get here, 
we came through portals or openings in the what? A sky dome. Different uh, times when the firmament is, is not as strong or solid in certain areas of a so-called uh, this place called Earth. But yeah, gaps, gateways to further go in and out. Which is why when you see rain and water uh, coming out of the sky when there's no clouds, the floodgates, quote unquote, but floodgates have opened up as far as in the upper and outer atmospheres. People saying, yeah, but there's water above us and water below us. We're actually in water, quote unquote. So that being said, we are activationist, activationist, wands, spoken with wands, but true 11 in this power state, bringing forth more leadership, fellowship, and more not understanding, ultra standing, mega standing, and omni standing, because we are, excuse me, as far as omni standing, we are all standing for what? Leadership, fellowship, and the embedment of our, um, like I said, of our world, our children, and like I said, us as a collective council, us as a collective force, collective source. So yes, today's topic is the sky dome, the firmament. So the firmament dealing with the so-called uh, upper atmosphere, which is why, like I said, a lot of these scientists, astronomers are not able to really grasp why they can't leave this space in place by rocket ships or planes. Whether you're talking about the Virgin uh, airline, I mean the, the, the Virgin shuttle by Richard Branson, but even still, he wasn't able to break the plane. He had to, he had to shoot a rocket ship with the plane on top of it. No, he had, to, he had to use a rocket ship with the spacecraft on top of it or a rocket ship or a plane to be able to reach a certain altitude or a certain height level dealing with uh, the so-called upper spaces and places, or excuse me, the, the upper space that they call space. <coughs> so yes, peace, power, soul to us. Yes, I'm not Googling anything. I haven't, I you know, I haven't had to do because it's, it's a lot more elevated as far as what we're receiving in this power state. So yes, even the intel, the intel is not restricted by way of the firmament or the sky dome. So it's, it's, it's intel, the radiance or the intel comes onto the uh, so-called radiance over light, the light dealing with light codes, what they call them, but it's ray codes that we call them over here. But the intel comes onto the ray codes and streamlined through the so-called sky dome. And certain ones of us true chosen ones, true activated ones, mentally and soulfully, are able to receive, are actually able to channel what's coming through. We're on a higher channel or a higher frequency when it comes to being aligned with the future, being aligned with the source. So this, this might seem boring. Oh, you're not talking about anything. We know about this already, but you never heard us break it up before. You're only hearing people recite information on Google, Siri, Alexa. You're only hearing people Google, Google, I mean, talk about things that they found off the internet pretty much. Peace, power, soul. We are ones, walking ones, uh, calling ourselves activationist, activisionist, but united futuritarians coming to you all live from Paradise, Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, out here just fully receiving intel. We're not focusing on information, we're receiving intel in real time. No limitation. No stagnation. It's just full on reception or full on activation of the minds and the souls and physically being activated to group up or link up with other chosen ones who are mentally and soulfully activated. It's just that simple because with our powers combined, we'll be able to project through the firmament or the sky dome being a light source, being the one, basically us being the same and the physical, like the, the ray codes that are coming down here or the light that's coming down here that penetrates through the sky dome, we have to be the same way. We have to further revert or become this collective power source to be able to shoot up like a one, to shoot up like the one and pierce the little called sky dome. Being able, that's, how, that's one way we, that we can do it as well as, like I said, going through portals, going through gateways. So there are gateways here on the earth, but there are also gateways, like I said, in the sky whether it be the sun. So being able to phase through the sun, like the rays further come down to this planet, like I said, us being able to phase through the sun like, like a giant portal. So that being said, that's the future as far as us leaving the space in place, being able to morph or phase through the sun 
like radiance, like pure, pure radiance and pure power. So peace, power, soul to you all. I'm going to post a last go one and last go two a satellite satellite footage of our signal tonight, possibly. But just looking forward to just receiving new and next intel. Had to people up this this quick quick topic to further do what just uh, press the envelope or really bring forth more reality of what's uh, we're actually living in. We're not living in uh, what I want to say a spherical plane or like I said spherical spherical earth people who talk about the earth versus spheres around it no and wrong answer <laughs> nope because physically we can see that we walking we're walking on a flat surface everything like I said me sitting I'm sitting down right now my room is flat like the, the floor is flat there is no curvature think about it they said that the curvature of the earth is eight inches per per square mile Eight inches per square mile. That being said, there's supposed to be a curve right in front of me right now, but but there is no curvature. Hello, my, my hands right here. No no curvature, no camera tricks, none, none of that. Because guess what? Our reality is that we live physically on a flat surface, a a flat plane. When when planes take off, think about it. When planes take off, they have to basically be able to have enough room to uh, gain speed and momentum. And you can't have that. This curvature. How would the plane? How would the plane get? How will jets, planes, all of the above get off the ground if there was curvature? Going back to what I was saying, rocket ships don't require that that the uh, boosting up the speed. They just shoot up like off the ground because of the um, the force of thrusters and rockets, basically. So that being said, no, there is no curvature. The Earth isn't spherical, or it's not round. But all we're saying is we live in a put it in perspective like a snow globe a, a giant snow globe but the the so-called globe part is the what the sky dome or a firmament so you've seen the movies called uh the the simpsons movie where their town uh got caught up in like this dome the government put a dome over the simpsons uh city or town that they lived in and it showed you exactly what they showed you in the movie exactly what it what it is like a threshold or a <clears throat> a barrier in an instance people call because people call the so-called firmament you know it's, it's, it's made of glass it's, it's made of some kind of uh, glass material but it's not it's frequency and vibrations that are that are compressed layered and compressed dealing with like I said our magnetic uh, sphere I guess dealing with the whole so-called atmosphere. So every, like I said, they even with the so-called uh, term atmosphere, they try to basically force it in your mind or force it in your, our language to basically accept that the Earth is spherical, but it's not. The cosmos or the uh, upper and outer spaces, that's what we call it because we're not calling it at, atmosphere. Atmosphere or atmosphere. Because that, that's the whole round, the, the loop. See, they, they want to encode the whole loop process in, in the language as far as spherical, round, looping, spinning, all of that, clockwise, counterclockwise, it still circles or looped. So the sun and moon are looping around or spinning around us right now as we speak. The stars are also doing the same thing too. So it's constantly like the, that whole loop process as far as just in this space and place called 3D or which we see in this space, this, this domain called Earth. <coughs> so raising our frequencies higher and higher to become more aligned as ones, walking with ones. We are true activationists, true activationists, leaders walking with leaders. I am our new clear future ray. We are ones, walking with ones. To count some shout out to Brother AF1 and Brother Cosmo Uni, Uni, Uni Fresh, or formerly I'm now going by uh, Raku at Mega Uni. So check us out, Brother Raku at Mega Uni. And Brother AF1 and me as our new clear future ray or our soul, our new clear future ray raising. So we are raising higher and higher, are rising higher and higher mentally and soulfully every day, every instant, every second that we are, you know, just doing our part, doing our job or doing, living out our purposes as a council. So glad to have you all here live with us or watching this video after it comes out. So we are live here in Paradise, Las Vegas, Nevada. A, a hot spot for UFOs, get it, Area 51, the Grays, aliens, 
weird phenomenon that people can't explain. Me being a, a witness to a lot of things that have happened out here over the last or over over my last eleven years being out here. So just seeing just you know, seeing so much stuff that people can't explain. Our government can't explain. Get it? Our government can't explain because they're trying to govern your mind to not see what's actually happening or unfolding here in this reality right now. A lot of the shifting, a lot of things happening in disguise, but they're trying to hide by the spraying skies with chemtrails, trying to make you believe that, you know, basically make you think that you're not seeing what you're seeing. But we are seeing what we're seeing. We are seeing shift. We are seeing new and next things happen around us. And they can't stop that because they wanted to have control forever over us as chosen ones. And I'm, I'm not saying that like, oh, they're the enemy. But in, in reality, you know, it, it took us a long time to get to this point of being mentally and solely activated, having to go through, having to go through many so-called uh, facets of information, religion, spirituality, consciousness, and I've been being uh, of the pan Africanist, uh, like I said, consciousness, metaphysics, I guess all the aspects of the loop process as far as of a worldly mind frame or belief systems. We're not pushing belief systems. We're only pushing for what's reality, which is which is basically receiving intel. Either you're receiving intel or you're pushing information. You're pushing books, pushing pushing things that don't really elevate you when it comes to uh, raising your mind and soul. <clears throat> so yes, we're raising higher and higher, rising higher and higher, going above and beyond all aspects of the old world, aka the worldly mind frame. Because we live on a planet, the world basically is a caricature that is uh, in, but it is a caricature of what the planet it is. So you know, you have the people try to equate the world and the planet being the same, but they're not. The world basically is. What's taking place right now? Information, history, all the aspects. Because guess what? In world history, they don't they don't talk about the space, space or planets or stars. World history deals with the so-called what 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 happened in the world as far as wars, uh, the power struggle from one nation to the next nations. But that, that that's the whole worldly mind frame being focused on the uh, language, how to speak, diction, focusing on things that don't really matter. As far as uh, you being able to receive new next things, because in a minute we're not going to even have to use these phones anymore because telepathy, being able to te also uh, utilize clair clairvoyance, being able to uh, use re remote viewing, which is a way to be able to see into these upper and outer spaces and places, being able to view or peek and peer into these upper space, upper rooms or upper dimensions, as far as of this place called earth so yes there's there's more than just this space and place here um dealing with, dealing with 3d so other than that we're further walking forward into the fourth dimension we already have made ourselves or made our presence felt and known um definitely here but as far as just being able to uh, make that uh make an impression as far as the upper and outer dimensions then i guess like i said ha us having have a connection to the fourth dimension which further allows us to be able to connect to the upper and outer dimension. So the fourth dimension basically is a portal. It's a portal out of this space and place, either mentally, solely, physically, both, all, all three actually. The 4D basically, the fourth dimension basically is a portal or gateway for us to be able to, uh, like I said, receive more and go beyond the worldly mind frame. It is a gateway. It's future access to what? To new and next things, new and next intel, which further allows us to uh, ascend or break out of the, that worldly mind frame, or break out of the mental limitation factors. So, yes, we are activationists, activationists, ones, welcoming ones, for true 11 in this power state, putting a pause on bullshit, and we're all equal as ones, welcoming ones. Like I said, the CB11 basically is ones, or the 11 basically are universal when it comes to. Um, like I said, how you how you might look at it, because people might look at oh ones and ones, that's crazy. But they're pushing the 10 frequency of ones that control zero. Zero. Basically, people who are regular minded, people who are uh yeah, normies, but we're not normal. We're beyond the aspects of being regulars, normal people, because our minds have uh, sped up or raised the frequencies. Our souls have raised frequencies or like I said, have sped up as far as 
the power that it vibrates, which is all neutral. So yes, uh, we are activationists. Activationists. Also, uh, check out our merch and apparel today for, before I uh, leave or uh, cut the live off. Get your merch and apparel today. Uh, yes, get your merch. Uh, fall, winter, summer merch and apparel uh, today. Uh, our website that we have. Uh, yes, order today. Get your uh, tequila time. Get your uh, my activation. Tequila Time, Bring Me Up Scotty, Rise in Power, and all other uh, shirts that we have, or all other apparel that we have, uh, whether it be hats, scarves, mugs, ETC, we have a lot as far as inventory. Um, yes, if you guys are interested, feel free to go to the link below. Um, check us out. Check out our merchant apparel. We are one spoken ones, one spoken ones, activationist, activationist, but united, futuritarians. Once more, but united, futuritarians. So we are. Futuritarians, activationists, activationists, and all united being this powerful uh, neutral power source, this neutral source um, to be able to plug into because everything that we've been talking about over the last, uh, like I said, five to six years, it was meant to build us up to this point right now as far as uh, mind and soul activation, or like I said, raising others around us by mentally and soulfully activating them. So raising them up as far as having to activate their minds and souls. And physically, we, we become that activational force field or that unimental force field that can't be stopped. That can only uh, be you know, felt, but it can't be touched. So we are one spoken ones, activationist, activationist, peace, power, soul to you all out there. We are one. Today's topic is the Sky Dome, aka Firmament. So we are talking about that, talking about it today. But yes, you know, there might be a part two to this. But other than that, keep pushing forward, keep on elevating. We are one spoken ones. Until next time, peace.